Hello, Riverwood. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. There are some passages of Scripture that are just so beautiful and take on a richer meaning each time that you read them. I think that Philippians chapter 2 is one of those. In this chapter, Paul gives an amazing description of Jesus and, through the Holy Spirit, gives us inspiration to follow in the steps of Christ. Let's look at the first four verses. Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. Paul sets up several rhetorical conditions as he opens the chapter. Since he's writing to Christians, those who have already put on Christ in baptism and have already accepted his grace, each of these statements already apply. They are united with Christ, and they receive encouragement from that. They do receive comfort from Christ's love. They have a common sharing in the Spirit. And because of their relationship with Christ, Paul assumes that they have tenderness and compassion. And as followers of Christ, shouldn't all of these be a part of our lives? Of course they should because we should take on the characteristics of Christ and of our Heavenly Father. So why does Paul start with all of these statements? He's setting them up to show them a better way, the way of being selfless, just as Christ was selfless. And there's two aspects that he gives to this. The first is unity. Paul's words are, being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. David wrote about the beauty of unity in Psalm 133. Jesus prayed for unity in the high priestly prayer in John 17. As the body of Christ, we glorify our Father by being united. The second is humility. Paul basically says that this means to put others before self. His words, don't look to your own interests, but to the interest of others. Can you imagine how much better the world would be if we all put this into practice? Two pretty simple concepts, but two things that really seem to be difficult for us. I encourage each of us to do all that we can to show the world that we are united in Christ and to show the world that we serve Christ through our humility. I pray that your day is full of blessings.